Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Dodgers Roundup. Today's topic, the Dodgers blew an opportunity today in honoring Fernando Valenzuela and Fernando Mania by not using this opportunity to retire number 34 as it well should be. Today's Fernando Valenzuela day out at Dodger Stadium. That's why I say the Dodgers blew the opportunity to have pulled a surprise and unveiled the retiring of number 34. Now, I know that there are folks out there who are on the myth wagon that the Dodgers don't retire players who aren't in the Hall of Fame. All right? Well, the next time that you think about Dodger Stadium or see a picture of it or you're there, look at number 19. And then quickly Google Jim Gilliam and see if he's in the Hall of Fame. He ain't. How about those of you who say, well, Fernando hasn't got the world, the Hall of Fame numbers anyway. That's why he ain't in the Hall of Fame. Why he retire his number, right? He doesn't have it, those kind of career numbers that get you in like 300 wins, uh, automatic kind of check the box and get into the Hall of Fame kind of thing. No, he doesn't. But let me throw some stats at you anyway, because Fernando had an impressive career. And let's just talk about the time that he had with the Dodgers, because that's why I'm making this plea about retiring his number, right? Check this out. Now, of course, you probably have all heard about how when he broke in in 1981 as a surprise starter, youngest Dodger starter ever until Mr. Julio Urias, his countryman from Mexico, but until uh, Julio came along, Fernando owned that. Youngest catch, youngest starter for the Dodgers. He came out like gangbusters and went 8-0. and Okay, most folks know about that. 8-0. and in his first rookie season as a starter with the Dodgers and just took the National League by storm. All right, so thus began Fernando Mania, right? What else did, did he do? In the years of 81 through 87, no National League starter won more games than Fernando, all right? That ain't a uh, chopped chicken. <laughs> So, um, Fernando was the very first player to win a Cy Young and Rookie of the Year in the same season. First guy to ever do that, all right? Fernando did more than just pitch. He won two Silver Slugger Awards. Talk about pitchers that can hit, pitchers who can rake. Fernando is in the conversation of some of the best. A uh, six-time All-Star, Fernando struck out five straight American leaguers in the 86 All-Star game. That's off my memory. I think it was 86 or 85. I'm going to uh, put my dollar down on 86. All-Star game struck out five American leaguers, tying Carl Hubbard's record from 1934. All right. So numbers are respectable, very respectable, all right? So that's reason number one to retire the kid's number. Now, reason number two is what he did for what he meant to L.A. and what he meant to the country, all right, as a cultural icon. Now, when the Dodgers first started in L.A., you probably heard it referred to as Chavez Ravine. Why? Because that was the neighborhood of the Chicano and Mexican community that the city of L.A. bulldozed and had cops come in and pull residents out of. And then they turned around and built a stadium there. So for the first 20 years of Dodger Stadium, yeah, it was great. But you know what? The audience is mostly white. Mostly white. All right. Why? Because the Chicano and Mexican community of Los Angeles had a real bitterness for the Dodger organization. Now, he brought that community back to L.A. What did that mean? Well, it only meant 
that you know how every year the Dodgers like to tout 3 million attendance, 3 million attendance, you know who started that? 20 years before Fernando hit the major leagues, the Dodgers broke 3 million attendance twice. When Fernando came along year after year after year, that began the trend of 3 million per year. When you hear that, 3 million per year, think Fernando. And when Fernando went, now, not only in L.A., right? Nationally, what did he mean to the game? When he traveled with the Dodgers and on days that he pitched in visiting cities, he raised attendance on average by 13,000. What do you think that meant to do the, the turnstiles of MLB? All right? 13,000 more fans per game showed up on average whenever Fernando came to pitch. Number three. Third reason, of course, is the best of all. Fernando threw a no-hitter like every legendary pitcher should. He threw a no-hitter, but you know what he did that no other no-hitter pitcher can do, can claim? He called his no-hitter. It was the second no-hitter of the day, that day that Fernando threw his no-hitter. Dave Stewart threw a no-hitter in the afternoon game. The Dodgers club was watching Dave Stewart's no-hitter in the clubhouse on TV. And when the game was over, Fernando stood up, who was starting that day, and he told his teammates, you saw a no-hitter on TV, now you're going to see one in real life. And Fernando Valenzuela went out there and backed it up and pitched a no-hitter. You call your shot, baby. You should get your number retired on that alone. Dodgers, do the right thing, man. Don't wait until Fernando's dead, right? Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Got an airplane overhead. There you go. Uh, go Dodgers. Peace.